Oculus just unveiled their latest high-end VR prototype recently at Facebook's developer conference F8. The prototype is called Half Dome, which fits in with Oculus's theme of naming prototypes after locations in California. For example, Crystal Cove prototype was further developed into the developer kit too, and the Crescent Bay prototype further developed into the consumer Oculus Rift that we have today. So it seems reasonable that the features shown off with this prototype may end up being further refined for Oculus's second generation headset. From what was shown so far, this is a huge leap in progress from the current Oculus Rift as well as the Vive and Vive Pro. The most immediately noticeable change is that this headset has a 140 degree field of view, which is about a 40% increase from the Rift, which the field of view of that is about 100 degrees. Humans naturally have a field of view of about 210 to 220 degrees, so while this will be a substantial increase, there's still room to improve as the years go on and VR becomes more and more immersive. They also showed off some really impressive gloveless and controllerless hand tracking using machine learning. This will be great for certain games and social experiences in VR, and it's also going to be great for showing people VR for the first time. Using your hands without any controllers or any buttons is just completely natural. It's how we naturally interact with the world, so when people try VR for the first time, this is going to be fantastic for demos or just simple games, and it's really easy to grasp. Of course, there'll still need to be some type of glove or hand track controller in order to feel vibrations and haptic feedback, and most games are still going to need physical buttons to some degree, but this is a nice alternative and can probably be used in conjunction with different controller methods. Oculus has also improved in tracking other parts of your body besides just your head and hands. They showed off a full body tracking system, which you couldn't currently do on the sensors that come with Oculus Rift, but possibly with some future sensors uh, when Generation 2 comes or Generation 3. And they also showed off some really great facial tracking, which is going to be super important for multiplayer and even single player experiences in the future of VR. As you can tell by the video, Oculus is picking up people blinking, so that means that some form of eye tracking is going on there, and that really opens the door to a lot of possibilities, including very focal displays. Many people were really surprised to see very focal displays shown off here, because that was one of the harder issues that needed to be solved to improve VR, and Oculus's solution is honestly amazing. What a very focal display is, is essentially a display that shows different layers of imagery at different levels of focus. And to kind of understand how this works, you can try this experiment of putting your hand out, um, just open palmed in front of your face about 5 inches or about 13 centimeters, and just focus on your hand with your eyes without moving your head or anything. And you notice that the background blurs out, but you can still see all the detail of your hand. And alternatively, just keeping your head and hand in the same place, you can focus on the background and suddenly your hand becomes blurry. This is how we naturally see the world, but in current VR headsets, the frame of reference has been stuck at about 2 meters. So Oculus's solution to this is to mechanically move the displays closer or farther from your eyes, depending on what you're looking at. And apparently this is silent and still allows the half dome prototype to be the same weight as the current Oculus Rift. So all of the improvements shown here, particularly the visual ones, are really going to aid with immersion and to help reduce the number of people suffering from VR sickness. One of the things that they didn't really talk about that much was resolution, but they really wanted to highlight that resolution and pixel density uh, will kind of naturally improve over time from these display manufacturers. But solving things like a higher field of view and very focal displays, those were harder challenges that are now beginning to be solved. One thing to keep in mind is that with an increase in the field of view, that also means that the resolution needs to be higher just to have the same clarity and pixel density of current generation headsets. So what this means is that the Half Dome prototype likely has higher resolution panels than the Oculus Rift, but the quality of imagery probably looks the same, um, but obviously not including the improvements given with the very focal display. I'd imagine that Oculus would like to have Generation 2 still have a noticeable resolution increase and not just a noticeable field of view increase, so I would expect this to improve for a consumer release, but that's also going to take some time for the display manufacturers to make affordable and more pixel dense screens. The specs of Half Dome are also really close to what Oculus's chief scientist 
Michael Abrash had predicted for consumer headsets by or around 2021. This picture is from his talk at Oculus Connect 3 back in 2016, and you'll notice that Half Dome meets the field of view and the very focal display um, predictions that he had, and we don't know the pixel density yet. I would imagine that the current Half Dome prototype doesn't have that pixel density, but I would expect that to be improved in the future, like I stated. So it seems like his predictions are right on track. And you can also see back in 2014, he pretty accurately predicted current generation VR headsets as well. Now, is that to say that we're not gonna see generation two VR until 2021? Uh, maybe, but I think 2020 to 2021 is a pretty reasonable time to expect it. Oculus has said in the past that they see generations of VR headsets to have a life cycle somewhere in between game consoles and cell phones. And obviously this is still a prototype and not consumer ready just yet. Nate Mitchell, who is the co-founder and current head of Rift at Oculus, commented under someone who was saying, basically, it looks like things are moving faster than expected and I didn't uh, think we'd hear about Rift 2 so soon. And under this, he kind of ruined the party, but it's a bit vague, so take from it what you will. But he said, uh, quote, Maria covered a bunch of areas of long-term research for us. This is just a peek into some feature prototypes. However, don't expect to see all of these technologies in a product anytime soon. So it's possible that some of these features might not make it until Generation 3, or maybe just that Gen 2 uh, is farther away than we thought and won't have everything shown at this conference. It's tough to say either way. Regardless, I'd love to hear your thoughts and predictions in the comments below on Generation 2 VR, when you think it's gonna come out, how you think HTC, Valve, and these other companies that are in the VR space are, are going to respond to this, and just generally what you think about the Half Dome prototype. I'd love to hear it. That's it for this one, guys. Till next time. While this video is closing out, I just wanted to give a thank you to everyone that has watched and subscribed so far. I just recently hit over a million views on YouTube, which is a crazy number for me. And it's awesome that I've achieved this in my time here on YouTube. So thank you to everyone who has supported me, viewed the videos, and subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.